Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay. In case you haven't guessed, this game is on the Xbox 360. When you know a game's by Microsoft, it's only going to appear on Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, or hopefully one day Xbox Two. Um, this game is known as Fable, Fable 2, actually. And it is, as far as I know, Fable, I think we played the first one, although... You know, one of the one of the curses of this thousand and one quest is we're going through so many games I literally can't remember them all. <laughs> so I think we played Fable One. Um, as far as I know, the Fable series is a third person action RPG game, and it was famous for letting you go really light or really dark. So you could pick really, you know, good paths or really bad paths. And that tracks with I think you saw Lionhead Studios was the company behind this in the opening there. Uh, back in the day, they did a game called Black and White, which was a god game that was really uh, popular for allowing you to be a totally good or totally evil god. So it's kind of their thing, all in one way or the other. Um, it's not the only RPG to ever let you make bad choices. I mean, Fallout was pretty famous for letting you be the good guy or the bad guy. Although, you know, there still were things on rails uh, to some degree. But... Uh, Anyway, we're going to be jumping in here. We'll see how far we can get. Hopefully, we get a little taste of the so RPG-style combat this game has to offer. Um, and yada, yada, yada. You guys know the drill by now. Um, all right. New game. And we get to choose lady or boy. I guess I should say girl or boy. Um, I guess we'll go for the boy today. Why not? I mean, truthfully, they look like literal twins the girl and the boy had the exact same face they could just literally be a gender swapped identical clone but uh you know whatever we're we're young boy off on in, to old town adventure land ready to meet some orcs and slay some knights or vice versa whatever the situation calls for frankly we're just up for anything i think to be an adventure game hero you have to kind of roll with the punches you know like in my real life, if somebody kidnapped my significant other, if somebody burned down my village, you know, these are kind of, these are pretty intense things to happen to actually happen to people. But in video games, it's like, oh yeah, backstory here. Now we're getting good, you know. Ah yes, my uh, my wife was kidnapped. Now I can go on a great adventure. If my wife was kidnapped in real life, I'd be calling the police and depressed. I think is what would happen that'd be absolutely terrifying anyway it's all in good fun of the adventures so here's a cutscene. very nice looking cutscene, actually there's a lovely little bird flying through there i think this bird is pure evil by the way i think all creatures in this world are either all good or all evil i'm getting an evil vibe this is an evil bird an evil vibe from this thing who knows what satanic plans it has in its mind. You know, if, if a bird were a psychopath, you'd almost never know it. Because it doesn't have the appendages to actually really affect many of its plans. But if there was a bird, you know, maybe in your backyard you have birds. And you see all these birds chirping in the trees. And many of them are, like, pleasant and cute. And you catch one staring at you day after day. And you probably have dismissed it as, oh, what a cute little bird. Maybe it's thinking about genociding you and everyone you care about. It just, it's like, man, if only I had the thumbs, these stupid humans would be done for. Meanwhile, we're looking at it, we're like, ah, oh, what a cute little bird. Um, are we looking at bird poop right now? Wait, I looked away for a second. <laughs> Was that bird poop? Now, I haven't played too many games that start with bird poop literally falling into the camera and then onto your character's head. Oh, what was that? Oh, yuck. Well, that was gross. I think my game just froze. <laughs> uh, perfect place. All right, let's reset this bad boy. You know, my while we wait for this to boot back up, I will say my Xbox 360 and PS3 have both been acting up recently, and I'm kind of concerned they're going to die before this 1001 quest is over. You know, I, if my PS3 or Xbox 360 really died permanently... I would have to look at the games that I really like on both systems and decide whether to replace them. I probably would lean replacing, but when I'm in the middle of actually, you know, we've got two years left, 
Uh, these things have held on for like eight years. I mean, they're getting pretty old. They're sort of like... I think of them still as spring chickens, but these are really becoming like grandpa systems. Um, but yeah, if they, if they don't, uh, if they don't hold out, I guess I'll have to replace them. Uh, this is why actually I, I play more and more PS2 games on emulator these days, because they can be emulated and it actually, uh, you know, saves me wear and tear on the old PS2, which I still have, but, oh God, is it glitching out again? I think it just glitched. I just got out my backup Xbox 360, which is an older Xbox 360, which I'm not even sure if it still will boot up. Actually, funnily enough, I have two backup Xbox 360s, if I'm being honest with you guys, but uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see if these things work. Anyway, the perilous, arduous journey of actually trying to play this Thousand and One Quest, the practicalities are that many of your systems will die before you finish, you know, before you finish the quest. It shouldn't be a thousand one video games just play before you die. It should be a thousand one video, video games just play before your systems die. Because a lot of them are getting to become ancient tech here. But yeah, anyway, speaking of challenges that an RBG hero would just consider motivation. You know, this is, this is like a meta commentary right now. Like my system's breaking. For me, it's an inconvenience. For an RPG hero, it's an adventure in disguise. Anyway, hopefully this boots up in a second here, and we can skip the bird poop and just go right to the game. I wonder if it will remember our... Uh, we can go continue. Did it create a save game after the bird poop? We'll find out momentarily, I suppose. People wonder why I don't play all these games live. Oh, there it goes. It actually worked. It was stalled there for quite a bit. I thought we were screwed again. All right. Whenever it cuts to like a black screen like this, I'm like, did it die? Or is it loading? <laughs> a little icon in the corner, something to tell me it's still going. I guess I should start looking for my cords for my other Xbox. The Xbox I'm playing is one of the newer model Xbox 360s, but I have two original ones that use different cords. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, I'm going to look for those cords right now. Yeah, it's definitely stalled. Uh, I haven't had any luck finding the Xbox cords yet, but I did find the Wii, or no, my Wii U, which I haven't played for a while. All right, we're back. You know what? This is my original Xbox 360. Just out of, like, curiosity's sake. Braid was... This was the console I first played Braid on. Turtles in Time. Double D Dodgeball. Contra. I haven't looked at what I had on this console in forever. Oh, Age of Booty. That was such a good game. What are you doing? Rumble Roses. I think this was... Something to do with DOA Volleyball or something? What other games do I have on here? Sorry, I, I know we're, we're taking quite a detour here from actually playing... Oh, the mini golf game. I remember playing that. Bomberman. Doom. Jeez, Burnout Revenge. That was such a good game. I think I had... Oh, yeah, Geometry Wars, and I had, like, Tetris Splash, I think. I wonder if it will still work. A lot of the stuff you have to, like, sign in. I don't have an Xbox Live account anymore. Oh, Tetris Splash! Oh, I guess we can only play the trial nowadays. Let's just see. This is an episode about Fable 2. We'll get to it. We're getting there. So, you know, we don't always go in a straight line in this little gaming journey. I literally haven't played Tetris Splash in forever. This, this was, like... I mean, my go-to Tetris was Tetris on the Game Boy. That was, like, the one I grew up with. But then, when I uh, was in university, uh, this was the one I was playing a lot. This is where I basically honed my skills. Because in, um... Okay, it's, like, giving me a tutorial here. Um, in, uh... When I was a kid, Two. I just kind of played Tetris, and it was what it was. But, uh, I always sort of wanted to, like... Uh, you know, get better at Tetris. 
And this is the one that I like marathoned as an adult and like actually like got my Tetris skills going. So what I'm doing here is I can press down and drop this slowly or you can press up and insta drop it. And also if you notice in the left there, right around here it says hold, I'm holding uh, a line piece. So whenever I want, I can grab it. So this is actually slightly a slightly easier version of Tetris as you can sort of surmise because you can hold pieces. You can be like way more strategic about how you want to use things. Um, and you can get some like crazy combos in, in like, you know, OG old school Tetris. You don't have the security of being able to uh, hold uh, pieces and do like double Tetri like that. But uh, it's always good to have a, a line piece in your back pocket. And uh, I think I even remember playing this at parties a couple times. Like if we came over to my place and we were like, you know, having some drinks before we all went out. Like I remember playing this with friends and, uh, you know, being at a point where like I could, uh, you know, again, as a kid, it's like you just play Tetris and you don't have too many strategies. I literally tried to figure out strategies of like where to place things and like how to be better and what to do in this scenario and this scenario and so on. And so while I will say I'm not the best out there, um, I got some strategies. I got some ideas. Um, I think that was a bad move, but I just did there. The key, the key to Tetris is you do want to have a little bit of organized chaos, and you kind of want to have it, uh, your your arrangements be in a way that multiple pieces can take up the spots you've left. So you don't want to put yourself in a position where you know only what you desperately need one piece and if it isn't that piece you're kind of screwed um and you also kind of want to look at what pieces are coming up that's important too um and sometimes you have to fill your valley like this and as a kid i would do everything i could to not fill the valley but as an adult you kind of have to realize sometimes you got to take one for the team and it's going to be okay and you'll clear your way out. See, now this is a terrible design that I've sort of found my way into here. It's to the point where I'm almost willing to grab my reserve piece, but not quite. But now I think I will. Single. See, having that reserve piece makes a huge difference. Uh, we'll throw that there, 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 there. All right, we've... Built it. And you also need to know how to use your valley with more than just the line piece. Like this L piece can easily fit into that uh, uh, that that side as well as a line. You can even use the like green S pieces in that right line. That would work too. But um, anyway, I, I did own the full version of this game. The thing I absolutely hate, I hate it about the Xbox 360, is if you purchased a full version of a game and then you let your connection to the internet lapse then you would lose that full version. And I don't know if I could just plug this into my Wi-Fi, even without an Xbox Live account, all these games would come back, but uh, I ain't doing that today. So um, it did always bother me that if you purchased and owned a full version of the game, you could still lose it if you just didn't have a Wi-Fi connection. That always annoyed me. I don't think the PS3 does that to you, which is, uh, you know, nice. I don't know for lack of a better word. You know, there was a time when when you purchased a video game or software, you actually owned it. There's this crazy idea that once you paid money for something, you had a copy of it, and it just never expired. It was weird. Um, I mean, you know, terrible business model, obviously. I mean, thankfully, lawyers and business people got in and put an end to that so that we could finally all start uh, subscribing to software for the rest of our lives and uh, paying Nintendo for Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3 on every new system they ever develop forever. <laughs> Let's be a girl this time, because the boy did not give us very much luck. You can tell I hate subscription model stuff. I also, like, it's a pet peeve of mine to pay for games I've already paid for multiple times. So, for instance, another reason why, like, I feel like Nintendo emulators and stuff are important is not just to help these old retro games, um, you know, carry on into the future. But like if you've paid Nintendo for Mario 1, 2, and 3 and they come out with a new system and you want to play it again, I feel like it should be your right to just play it, uh, you know, on an emulator. Like why, you already paid them. Um, it's like what difference does it make? But 
I guess the idea is they want you to pay for it forever. They want you to continue to buy new versions of it. So, like, at the end of your lifetime, I wonder how much money you spent on Mario 1, 2, and 3. You know? Maybe you've bought it multiple times, you're okay with it. I just, I'm a cheapskate, and the cheapskate inside me is like, I've paid you for this. I own it now. Go away. <laughs> Leave me to play my, my, uh, emulated copy here. Anyway. Alright, poop falls on your head. Ew! Disgusting! Well, hey, you can move the camera exactly. around. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Oh, you can do stuff. Left trigger. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Looks like Hogwarts. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. Oh, if only we could live there. What are you implying? Which one of us is going to be his daughter and which was going to be the surrogate wife? Come with me, My character's rather young, so I hope you were thinking daughter. Uh, other girl. Can I kick a chicken? Yeah, eat this chicken! Have you reconsidered my own? Yeah, alright. You'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. Can I jump? You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Can I beat up these guys? No. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Let's carry on. Also feels a bit like a Christmas story, like where, you know, filthy poor little beggars or something. Like, maybe Tiny Tim's my sibling in this scenario. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, what this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. I bet all that stuff would have sold in medieval really times. times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? Thanks, creepy woman. For five gold coins, you could have your answer. I feel like she's a plant by the guy to like sell more merchandise you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle wait what, what if it is real how maybe did she know five gold pieces and maybe this could be a way out of here after all what is there to lose little sparrow come on there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something I like how I'm called Little Sparrow. That's kind of a fun, interesting name. Hello. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone. But the we accept. In that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with the picture box. All right. I do like how it's highlighting the path for us. Now, let's find some more money. <laughs> Pull the other one. Um, help Barnum for posing for a picture. All right. Hey, 
See icons from people's heads. All you have to do is strike up. See ya. Very well. Strike a pose, my young friend. All right. Oh, I'll burn him by doing an expression. Use. There you go. Um, yeah, you know, it wasn't, uh, too long ago that we were playing, um, Dreamfall. And I said, my thing with Dreamfall is, like, it seemed like a good game, but I never kind of knew where to go. I like that this one has, like, a little golden path and it's showing us where to go. And I know that Dreamfall was, part of the fun of it was exploring, but a little more direction, um, is always appreciated, you know? Um, and then obviously this game came a whole generation after, uh, Dreamfall. This being a 360 game and Dreamfall being an Xbox game. So, I feel like games not only have evolved in terms of their visuals, but also, uh... Hey, hit a girl! Oh, you hit a girl. But also their, uh, like, tutorials and stuff. Alright, let's whoop his butt. Ah, yeah, there you go, buddy. I saved ya. Right in the head. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. No problem. All right, dog. You come with us now. Oh, poor dog. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Okay, how do we... we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. How do we get a dog? I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. By the way, where, where were these journal pieces I was supposed to acquire? You performed a good deed and improved your standing in Albion. Alright. Oh, let's continue going this way. Carry on, carry on. Oh, that's a piece of paper. Take. Oh, I see another one over here. Take. Yes, another warrant. I don't think they'll miss this lead if they see him. Hello. I wash it down with. Recover Pete's stolen bottle. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? Sure. Can you bring me back my bottle? Yes! I think sending children on a fetch quest for alcohol is somewhat illegal. Just two more to go. But, uh, get out of my way. Let's find this magpie guy. Kinda look like I was supposed to go in here. You wanna kinda get out of my way, bro? No? Okay... Something up there, too. This game, so far, seems like the game of a thousand fetch quests. I know I'm trying to just get, like, five bucks or whatever. Shoot Can use A to interact with any object to glow screen. And, while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, Try not to break any of my stuff. Okay, so I gotta go kill some beetles. But don't break his stuff. Got it. Kid! Alphas are owe some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the beetles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Interesting. Ooh, we have a ranged weapon. So you can either smash his stuff and leave the beetles and be bad, or he can be good. Oh, go upstairs and kill the beetles. Interesting. Well, we'll be the good guy, I suppose. Seems pretty easy. I think I missed one near the stairs. Go upstairs and kill the beetles. Like one over here. What if you kill the beetles 
and smash the stuff. Get those Beatles. I'll remember this kid. Oh, we got bad guys on our tail now. It's kind of cool that we got a choice, even so early on in the game. That was a massacre. No mercy, but a filthy. All right, oh, killing beetles. Decent work, I suppose. Really doing it. Okay, we have two gold. I feel like people are very willing to give out gold for jobs here. I know she was like, if I had five golds, I could eat for a week. Or five gold, I could eat for a week. Um, I feel like her and her sister should do this kind of stuff more often. They would be able to eat for a week more often, you know? Like, why not? Look at all this random handiwork just lying around. Oh, another sheet of paper. Okay, we need one more piece of paper. We need to find somebody's booze. I forget what else we were supposed to do. Oh. From Magpie. Take. Can I take other things from him? You snooze, I take your booze. Alright, we got the booze. Get the wine to Pete or Betty. Here you go, buddy. Hey, the quadruplets are back. Enjoy. Hand over the wine, little sparrow. How do I do that? Hand it over. Give. Don't. He's trying to quit. Eh, whatever. I I am encouraging the addictive What's lifestyle. This must be yours. Thank you. Oh, and he gave me a warrant too. Ah, I've got it. Okay, so I have f five warrants, which will give me a gold. I have three golds. I'm very close. Really just need one more. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. Uh oh. Stop right there, you little brats. No. Listen, creep. I told you, you no this going? morning. I'm gonna keep going over this way. Just totally ignore that guy. Around here somewhere. Here you go. Hello. Have you found them? Except, I think he was gonna offer me money to not give the warrants. I guess. Now, normally, justice is its own. I didn't want him to mug me, though. So. Circumstances. Here's your gold piece. All right, one more gold piece, and we got this. How about you just give me one out of charity, buddy? I think Mother heard us. Oh, what is this? Can I go in here? You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Huh. Now push off before I call the guards. You okay. Get in the house, Belinda. Um. They're as filthy as that no good delinquent Monty. I don't know what they're talking about. Speak to Monty. Deliver a letter to Monty's beloved. All right. Frankly, I just need the gold, so. Don't let her mom get Knock on the door and see who answers. All right. First one to offer me a gold for whatever reason gets it. Gets this letter. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Oh, thank you. Come on in. Did I just go deliver the letter? Wait there while I get the money. Deliver the letter. And don't you touch anything. Here you go, Belinda. I'm a whippersnapper. Where's that money gone? Oh, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty. My little dog. You know what's funny? We were just talking about Dreamfall. And I feel like the, the faces and the expressions and stuff in this are actually stepped down from Dreamfall. I'm sure the polygon count's a little higher, but it's like just slightly worse. 
and the faces are like staring off and in, into nothing and not looking in the right direction. Dreamfall actually did a pretty good job with all that stuff, I have to say. Hello, we've come to buy Very the music wise, box. Little ones. All right. Give me that box, yo. Here's your five gold. Take. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. All right, where are we going to go? Let's go over here somewhere. I'm going to go somewhere quiet and make a wish. Out of my way, chicken. Can I talk to the chicken? Oh, you can totally kick him. <laughs> oh, poor chicken. So bad now. I was all bluster. I didn't actually want to hurt a chicken. I'm not a psychopath. All right, use the music box. Except. I wish. I wish. That thing looks demonic. Definitely demonic. Definitely demons in that thing. Where did it go? Why are we still here? Hmm. Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. I am kind of intrigued. I have to I'm say, so sure this, this, this game is intriguing me. Feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in old town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? Hmm. I don't know. What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Hello, doggy. Come on, Sparrow. Go to bed. I even like the name they gave my character, Sparrow. It's kind of a cool little name. There's nothing more to do today. Childhood. All right, uh, settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. Oh. I've been sent to collect you. It came true. The box was magic. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow, wake up. Am I dead? It's all right. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. Thought it was gonna be like a Mephistian bargain, like a promise. Like she got we both got called to the castle, but I died in my sleep or something, and then you become the main character of her or something. Uh oh. This looks like we're being arrested. But I mean we might as well go. Let's go to the castle. But the snow and the silhouette of the castle is very like I'm getting simultaneously getting a bit of like Harry Potter, but also like Tim Burton vibes, almost. Tapping the left bumper snaps the camera back to you. Holding it lets you look around. Oh, that's another thing about playing an Xbox 360 third-person game, is the camera controls! I don't have to go in and invert the camera controls, finally! Oh, that was so annoying in uh, those Xbox games we were playing. Evening, Jeeves! Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young ladies. I think he's gonna eat us. I think he's a vampire. I'm calling it now. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? What is this guy? What the? Ah, oh, hello, Master Garth. That guy looks like he's from the future. What the heck? A few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. That's pretty cool. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. 
Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was... You know, this is a sequence that could have been done as a cutscene, yes, but I'm glad yes. that they gave us control. Like, it, it is sort of a, an, a slightly annoying forced yes, moment, but it's like, at least being in control... You know, we weren't just sort of forced to sit back and watch a cutscene, so I, I kind of appreciate that they did that. I like it. Lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. All right, I got it. Let us in. 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 Open the door, Jeeves. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Hey, what's going on? Why'd you call us? What, 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 what are we doing here? What, what's, what's going on? What is that? A book? Is that a page? What, what is that? Paper? Can you read? Can you teach me to read? It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I'll go first. I promise it won't hurt you. Oop, I'm already here. I guess I'll let my sister go first. She's gonna die. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Want me to go too? Go on, stand in the circle. He's totally gonna eat us. It's happening right now. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Well, what are you? We're evil heroes, bro. Wait, there was, there was something here. Yeah, there was What's that like? quiet. You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? Uh oh. Stand in my way. Um, wait, wait, don't. Can we get out of here? <laughs> no! Oh, God. Uh oh. Uh, probably bad for us. You to live either. I'm sorry. You gotta reload that thing, though, right? Magic box, save us. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I'm starting to think this prince is not such a good guy. Getting a bad feeling about him, if you know what I mean. Death is not your destiny today, Sparrow. Whoa. I have to say, I'm intrigued by the story, all things considered. I know I'm not typically a story guy, you know? But this, so far, this one is actually kind of intriguing me. I, I'm curious to see where we're going to go um, from here. So we'll give this one a, a little bit more time here, obviously. Explore it a little further. I mean, obviously, what we just played through was basically the tutorial mission, but... I killed my sister, yo. Can't let that stand. I will not abide. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. 
and so the girl survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to her small, broken body. The girl awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. She reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take her first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the girl's pain turned to strength. Her grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted her every dream. I feel like that's pretty good motivation, I have to say. That's ah, cool. There you are. And your faithful friend, too. <laughs> My Many face is ago, just frozen. I help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey I am listening, weirded robe figure. I just can't turn my face for There's some a reason. Near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Okay, that was a pretty hilarious little glitch there. Oh, we could, like, kiss the doggy? Let me do this. Select equipment. Okay. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. Okay. Oh, not down that way. Uh, how do we interact with them? We had the option to, like, kiss our dog, and then it went away. Anyway, um, alright, let's go get our gear. Oh, what's this guy? Hello. Happy birthday! Oh. Having a nice one? <laughs> Thanks. Can you believe people are being captured? Um, alright. Let's just head down here. I'm excited to, like, get out in the world and actually adventure now. Purple arrow indicates a friendly villager. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, where's my chest? It was over here. I'm, like, lost already. Search. Oh, ho, ho. What do we got? Sword. A rusty longsword. I will use that. Splintered crossbow. Use it too. Uh, placebo. <laughs> Those aren't real, you know. A dog elixir. A collar of holding. A spade. And that's all we need. Yeah. Just busted up somebody's fence and kicked a chicken. That was funny. Interesting. Kicking chickens is funny, eh? What about kicking dudes? Less funny? What's this little scroll thing say? Use. Wait. Gypsy Camp Bow Lake. The Lightfoot Caravan. Oh, you can rent it? What? Wait, what? I thought that was my house. Oh, we cast some fear in that guy by randomly firing a crossbow bolt right in front of his face. He's like, she's a little unstable. I think the stress has finally gotten to her. Alright. Follow Teresa. Open the gate. I become a wildling. Good luck. Bye, Teresa. I'm going to walk away from you in slow motion. So slow. Take this. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. Power light tomb seal. It is a powerful artifact. Let me walk which back to you. Once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. Thanks. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. That's cool. I don't now, know why you're helping me. Look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Talking about a primitive RPG leveling system? What kind of abilities will I unlock? Oh, there we go. Hold A to run faster. The, I feel like the world even looks pretty good. I mean, not that it wouldn't, but I mean, the aesthetics are nice. Yeah, can I just go through the water? 
Swim. That's cool. And into the tomb. Oh, wait, there's a key over here. I will take that. Do I need that to open the, the tomb? I like that they're teaching me things by making me do it. You know, a lesser game would be like, just to warn you, you'll need a key to open a door. Whereas this, they're like, here's the key and here's the door. It's side by side, but, you know. Oh, I can do my dog with the D-pad. Not do my dog. You know. Oh, that sounds so bad. I can uh, interact with my dog using the D-pad. I'll just stop talking now. Good boy. Of course, a game by Lionhead Studios would have a pad. That's basically the entire premise of the uh, black and white game. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Whoa! That was kind of terrifying. All right, now is it just going to be hack and slasher, or is it more exploration based, or is it a platformer like Tomb Raider? Beatles, my nemesis. That's X. Okay, let me. I guess they want me to attack with my sword. All right. It's pretty satisfying combat, I have to say. I like this game. Game, uh, this game warmed to me much faster than many other uh, modern games. Hold R to collect experience orbs. Oh, I wish it just collected automatically. Frankly, that's a little annoying. Because it means you can miss them. Numbers that appear... Show your experience. Look at these glowing mushrooms. It's cool. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what the different colors meant. He's found something. Follow him to find out what. Oh, what a cool mechanic, actually. Because if you're trying to explore a dungeon, sometimes you might miss things. It's kind of cool to have a dog that will go to the nooks and crannies and might point out something to you. That's a cool mechanic that I don't think I've seen in any other game that I really appreciate. Die, beetles. And right trigger. There we go. Number you appear blue is strength, skill is yellow, red is will. Something else is green. Any more beetles want a tango. What's, what's this? You have to shoot the switch to go much further. Uh, okay. My dog find treasure, by the way. Treasure somewhere over here. Uh, I thought the dog said treasure, but I probably read that wrong. All right, anyway, carrying on this way. Wait, what's in here? Ooh, treasure. Think. Search. And we got a rusty mace. Better than your rusty longsword. Use it then. I also like that you can just very quickly equip things. There we go. I feel like shooting them is more fun. It's more Indiana Jones style anyway to shoot your way through a hard fight. I learned anything from those movies, and I like to think I did. Alright, fine. We'll melee you guys. Ow, ow. You know, it is kind of fun to suck up the experience orbs. As much as I wish you collected them automatically, it is a little fun to suck them all up. And you have a pretty big range, it seems, for sucking them up. Now, I don't know if my healing, my health regenerates slowly over time. Um, or... If I gotta use that placebo, that precious, precious placebo that I got. Anything up this way? Literally just said be sure to explore nooks and crannies. I just want to double check. I really do like that path 
feature. As someone who gets lost in video games, it's very handy. It's just a nice little quality of life feature, I have to say. Not 100% essential, but it's nice. Brendan's diary. We, were, we took that. Wait, I think there was a body over here, too. I was looking for a chest, not a corpse. Go this way, doggy. Okay, here's another corpse, I think. Go. Brendan's diary and Eric's letter. Frankly, I don't care to read it, because it's going to be something like, I hope Brendan gets this letter, and then I'm looking down here for Eric, and sad they're both dead, but whatever. I don't have time to worry about other dudes who are long dead. Except my sister. She was murdered in cold blood by some crazy lord. I think that said suicide note. Definitely don't feel like reading that one. <laughs> Whoa, what a buzzkill. It sure kills the adventure. Alright. So far this dungeon's been light on the monsters. This thing here. Anything? Ugh. No. We'll carry on. Up Y to shoot your ranged weapon. Oh, there's bats or something. Oh, I guess it's all beetles. The beetle based monster economy, frankly. Beetles are hot right now. You seem to also have unlimited ammo, which I also quite enjoy. Uh, anything cool over here? Nothing, nothing. Oh, hello. And down you go. All that experience. We have, orbs hold the knowledge and experience we have no red orbs. Alright. Not more beetles. I thought that purple orb was like an orb, but I think it was, uh... Oh, you can like lock onto your targets, I see. Um, I think the purple thing was like s spit from a beetle that was being l launched at us. Some sweet power orbs. I want to see what happens when we level up. Curious about this system. Alright, we did it! Shoot your target. Just X to attack with your sword. Oh, that's cool. Huh, that was like a really fun door to unlock, I, I'll be honest. Shoot, attack, shoot. Look at that. It's like something out of Uncharted. Here you go, doggy. You're a good doggy. Who's a good doggy? Um... <laughs> Funny, flirty, dog. Turn off safety? What does that mean? Press down to turn safety back on. I don't know what... I don't know what safety... It's like the holodeck safety, uh, you know, parameters or whatever. wonder what that does. It's curious. Um, oh, hello. No, nothing. Remember to explore every nook and cranny. You never know. Okay, this is really far off the beaten path, though. I feel like that's an exit. Probably we'll go that way when it's time to exit. Yeah, see, the path is... The highlighted path is handy, because if you do kind of explore down a corner or something, then you're like, crap, which way do I go to continue? Like, y it'll keep you from backtracking stupidly. I could see how some people wouldn't like it because it uh, might be a little too handholdy, but I appreciate it. Lies the Heroes Guild. Okay. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now 
It lies forgotten. Your blood is awake. <laughs> I didn't even listen for the warning. So I'm like, all right, I'm in. Now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Hmm. Before you is a color's gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the color's gate. Okay. Press up to enter the ability screen. Hold on. Information on how to access gold and heroic items. Go to fable2.com. Look, I can't search that. Okay. Well, we're not doing that today. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. Okay. So we have your six wills. Them with lightning. And it costs 150. Oh, we have we have 350. We can shock our enemies. We can calls forth magical Inferno them. Ooh, time force. control. Time control. I like that, to but the world around you, or to move with incredible speed. What if we go into skill out of curiosity? Dextra styles. The greater your accuracy. Oh, I guess the the greens styles. are like neutral. Special moves we can use them for weapons. anything. And other abilities. Strength. To Brutal styles unlock special moves. For hmm. Okay, so we'll do will. Uh, we could do shock. shock. Inferno. Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Hmm. Time control. We can't afford that. Time control allows you to Blades. Slip. Blades creates magical Vortex. swords to impale your enemies. Chaos. Force push. Force push sends a blast of energy towards your enemies. I kind of like that one. Them into nearby objects. All right, force push. Learn Force Push, a solid wave of energy that will push enemies back. Okay, but I I think I want to go ranged, so having an ability to, like, slam and, like, knock guys away from me might be quite useful. And then I guess I don't... Dexter can't really... Styles oh, I could. Unlock special moves for ranged weapons. And other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. You do accuracy. The greater your or accuracy. speed. The greater your speed. The faster you will be able speed. to attacks upon your enemies. I will purchase Dexterous Dext Styles. Learn the Dexterous Style roll. Tap A while moving to roll in the direction. Ah, we can now evade. And then I guess I can't afford any strength right now. Brutal style. That's cool. Alright, so we there isn't like a class system, Excellent. but you kind of Can you feel the power course? Unlock It is only the beginning. Little abilities. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. Okay, so that's the B to cast your spell. Boom. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Cool. Alright, we're going to keep going. We're going to go a little further. Now I'm kind of <laughs> sorry that the game crashed so much at the beginning. And then I took a detour into Tetris because I'm like, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Let us see where this goes. I mean, we'll have to cut this off soon. We'll do what, whatever the next natural breaking point we encounter is, is probably where we'll we'll stop it. But uh, I gotta say, it's uh, Use your newfound abilities positive experience with this. Boom. All right, come on, bugs. Boom, boom. Boom, get away from me. Boom. Oh, we're so much more effective now. These bugs. <laughs> Random bugs don't stand a chance. Oh, God. Oh, we can dodge. Nice. Make your way to Bowerstone. I will meet you. Now for Brutal Styles. Okay, hold on. Let's check out abilities. Strength. Okay, so we could get blocking. Or just roughly increase damage. The, your physique, the, more 
We're just more life. Oh, we can't afford that. Before falling in battle. Brutal styles um, are special moves. I'm going to save my money for now. Frankly. Where am I? How do I get out of here? Down this way, I guess. I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, you know, I can run. Yeah. I'm just following this path, assuming it's correct. Looks correct. Where's my dog, by the way? Did he run away? He ran off. Okay. Oh, wait. That's where we came from. How do I do a map? So, wait, where am I? Travel to Bowerston. Um, so I'm the red arrow. Current quest. Region exit. Oh, I went the wrong. I went the total wrong way. All right, so we should follow this path this way. Look at that moon, eh? You know what? The moon always looks bigger in person than it does in a picture. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to take a picture of a really big moon and send it to a friend, but I did that recently because I was like outside and I was like, wow, the moon looks so big right now. Took a picture. It looked tiny in my picture. It's so weird. I, I definitely have remembered, uh, like from university, learning that um, the moon appears different to our eyes than it really does in the real world because our brain like distorts it. But it's one of those things that like, you kind of don't believe, and then you see it happen. You're like, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. So, yeah. It's it's a thing. Citizen, the road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit hectivity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit hag is alive, the road stays closed. All right. If you're in an hurry like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So... You want me to go kill a Sir, bandit to keep a to road open? It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Vault. I wonder if you want to be bad, if you can like just team up with Thag. Where is he over here? Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. You think? Look out! It's an ambush! Banditos! <laughs> Range weapons, baby. Where it's at? Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures they can kill. Open the door and get away! Boom, boom. As long as I can dodge and shoot. Is that a guy? Oh yeah, there was a guy, like, right behind me. There you go. Unleash your new powers to defeat the Back off, buddy. You I feel like these guys are definitely taking it easy on me. Right, that was easy. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh, my dog! Thag the impatient. Thag the impatient. I'll give you three seconds to get ready. No, my two. Oh, sorry. No! <laughs> Three seconds to get ready. No, make it two. Ah, forget it. It's actually pretty funny. Ah, come here! Come on, buddy. I feel like the dodge is pretty essential, at least for my playstyle. 
Oh, we just totally slaughtered him. That was so easy. Down you go, buddy. So, we got Thag's head. Thanks to you, Thag's reign of terror is at an end. The roadblock to Bowerstone has been lifted. That was a pretty fun boss fight. Well done. Whoa! Well that was a lot of power. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Yeah, let's see what kind of powers we could get. I feel like we should buy a strength, but... Image... The stronger your physique, the more... I feel like I want life. But I don't want to spend any greens on it, because I can use the greens for something else. So, let's see. I could get increased damage. Wouldn't mind increased speed. What can I do for Will? I could shock. Time control. Vortex. I don't know if there's anything that I would actually spend money on. What's Ray's dead? Shadow. I could just, I'm in shadow. the recently deceased to rise and fight for you. That's kind of cool. Good. Okay, so I can't really afford anything that I want there right now, so I'm going in here. And I guess I'm going for speed. You've improved the speed of all your strikes. Cool. Speed and agility is where it's at, I think, for me. I don't need too much toughness if I can just be fast and difficult to hit. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. All right, we got to go free these civilians. I wonder if I could just keep them for the ransom for myself, you know, and like get some money out of this whole deal. Thag's key. Ooh, rancid beef jerky. Mm-mm. And a money bag. Oh, yeah. Thag was living the life of luxury. All the rancid Boy, meat he could eat. Dead. Don't even think about letting them out. Why not? Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Oh, you did, huh? Well, Look, I don't want any trouble. luckily for you, I don't believe in slavery. I guess unluckily for you, man. Thank you so much! What do you think of that? Can't believe you did that. Yeah, can't you? We're free. Turns out I'm not a scumbag. Paths and byways of the land, no master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before is like, I'd like, what's the word I want, Reg? I don't know, and it's Regina. Guys, yeah, don't make me regret freeing you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. I like how after we just slaughter a bandit kingdom, a guy comes running and he's like, hey, 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 by the way, those are my slaves. They will never forget your kindness. I, I've talked about this before, but even in games like Fallout and stuff, I have a hard time committing to being the bad guy. Because even if I sort of do some bad things, I start to feel bad, and then I can't make all my decisions as the bad guy, and before you know it, I'm just playing as a good guy really hard to play as a bad guy. I kind of wish there would be an RPG game that would actually make it enticing to play as the bad guy. And I don't know what that would entail. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but I literally do feel bad when I, like, hurt people or am mean to NPCs even, you know, like... But there's got to be a way you could design the gameplay so that being bad is, like, actually pretty enticing. Like, I kind of want to be bad here. I just don't know how you'd do it. During certain scenes, you can make comments using the D-pad. I wonder if that actually affects anything. Your online settings to see other... Oh, you can see other players in your world? That's pretty cool. Right, here we go. Bower Lake has been added to your map. The hero of Bower Lake. All right, now what are we doing here? I'm just going to follow this arrow and hope it leads somewhere that makes sense. Out of my way, ladies. Hero coming through. When there's a sale, press up now. Ooh, sales. Tattooist. Gypsy Cam Tattooist is having a small sale for the next few days. Come get the design you've always wanted. <laughs> I'm going to pass on the tattoo sale, frankly. It seems more like a luxury item, and I don't know how much money I have at this point. Bowerstone Blacksmith is having a small sale um, after an accident with an axe. 
Discourage most locals from buying weapons. Good thing you're not so skittish. Okay, let's wait. Uh, let's set trail and travel. Uh, would you like to travel to the town square? Yes. Maybe if I walk right oh, that's cool. So you can like fast travel and then have a trail that sets you up. News. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. Okay. In the meantime... You should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. Okay. But you'll need money. Need any help? What was she going to say? If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. Huh. So we can do a job for him and we can also buy things. Buy weapons. Wait, what did he say? Oh, if he loves me? He will give me a discount. If he hates me, he marks stuff up. And if he fears me... <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you can get fear. Oh, wait. This worked before. What if I just fire my arrow? Put a little fear in his heart, eh? There we go. All right. He's up to, like, 15 fears. Oh, but he hates me. The markup's gone up even higher. <laughs> it backfired. That's actually a really cool uh, mechanic. Um, okay. Anyway, let's see what we can buy. So a heavy crossbow. Is, so we have 300. Oh, we could buy like a gun. Kind of cool. Great pistol, blunderbuss. Ace value, price. 35, that's pretty good. Rusty hammer. Damn, that seems powerful. Uh, you know, honestly, like, my weapons... So I'm using the mace. Okay, I'm going to sell the... Um, After anything in particular. Long sword, because I don't need that anymore. Anything else to sell? I don't know if I want to buy anything, because, like, his weapons seem okay, but I'm sort of like, I kind of want to wait for, like, a bigger upgrade. So I guess, like, I did say we're going to wrap it up soon. So, all right, let's just, let's just buy whatever. Oh, you can totally steal from him, too. Funny. Um, okay, let's buy, what was the blunderbuss? Give this a shot. There you go. Purchased. Okay, and now how do we equip our guns? Item weapon range. Hmm. Okay, did we equip it? Yes, we did. We just almost doubled the damage we do with our ranged weapon. Okay, let's see what this says. Blacksmith. What kind of job is it? A brisk walk is oh, you just have to like Smith. Really changing for the better. Need any assistance? All right. I think I'll just... Little mini game there. I, I, you know, I thought it was gonna be a fetch quest. I was hoping it would be like slaughtering enemies or something. The fact that it's like a little mini game where it's like you literally have to work. You know, that's what the blacksmith would hire you for. He wouldn't hire you to go kill ogres or something. He would hire you to, like, smith a weapon. I'm working as a blacksmith. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Steel weapons I know we're getting... The modern hero good money. A good strike. Keep this up for a little bit. Sixteen... Gold until promotion, 20. I kind of want to, like, see how much money you can actually make doing this. May I be of assistance? You know how to use a hammer. Four. Also, we're getting buff doing this. Press B to take the next level job. You are now at blacksmith level two. Okay. That was easy. That's kind of cool how you can just, like, be a blacksmith. Um, how I became a bard. <laughs> no, and I don't care. Story, really. Get out of here. 
Somebody just had like an attractive thing over top. I think they were uh, falling in love with me. Shops are now closing. I'm Making some sweet swords here. It's probably a lot less interesting to watch this than to actually play it, but it's an oddly captivating minigame. Also, you can get some sweet multipliers and start making crazy bank. I guess you just have to, like, probably if you mess up, you destroy the multiplier. You have to keep not messing up, but it's very easy. You can make a ton of money this way. You're doing a good job. Oh, did I mess up there? I might have. No, I didn't. Okay, Teresa's gonna arrive in another minute. So I might as well just keep going. A perfect hammer. When we meet her, we're gonna have so much cash. Plenty for everyone. Honk. Doesn't seem to be getting any harder either. Oh, I missed one. Oh, we m screwed it up. There goes our multiplier. Literally could not keep my mouth shut. So is this just infinite? You can just make as much money as you want? Bonk. Alright, we got 50 seconds left. Strap in. We've become a blacksmith now. We're, we're giving up on this life of adventure and settling in for a nice, simple life. Find us a nice husband. Raise a couple of kids. So much simpler. Why didn't... Why don't more RPGs let you do this? You know, the, the adventuring lifestyle is so stressful. This is like a nice, simple, relaxing way to spend your golden years. Just forging hammers. Let other people go out and risk getting killed by dragons and stuff. We'll just live the safety lifestyle. I guess we'll do one more. Boink. If you can get your multiplier up, you could probably, like, level, like, crazy as a blacksmith. Or I want to kind of... I kind of want to keep going until I level up again or screw up the combo. I know Teresa's here, but hold on a second, Teresa. I'm forging some really good, uh, oh, God, swords here. Oh, God. My palms are literally sweaty from this. Okay, two more. We got ourselves a promotion. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, I think it is getting a little harder. Ah, our promotion! Everything I worked for. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna quit. Quit the job. We didn't get promoted, but we did make 600 gold. Jeez, all right. Well, I guess we could buy whatever weapon we want at this point. Hold on, before we go to Teresa, we now have so much cash. Oh, Oh, I guess you can't buy anything out. You could steal. Interesting. Um, okay, where's Teresa? There she is. Hello. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Okay. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. I'm pressing up. How many memories? Fag and his men. They had just as many. And now they have none. Because of you. Oh, damn. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? You haven't got much of an I do. Your enthusiasm will have its uses. But mind it does not consume you. That's pretty crazy. Most games would not make you think of the death of NPC characters that you slaughtered, but she's like, think of all the memories you have in your life. Those NPCs had them, now they have none. That's, that's some deep stuff, man. I like it. Changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed by this game. I don't know what I expected going in, but that is where Lucian is now, the tattered spire. 
tattered spire. Or like the thing that's obscured that I can't really see. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, Jeez. granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. Damn. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. I'll take a look at these. These cards offer glimpses of what your future holds. Okay. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes Will itself is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. Wow. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. You know, if you'll notice, I had the option to skip that conversation, and I for once did not. And you guys know how rare that is for me. Um, I think, unfortunately, we're going to call this here, but I'm literally going to make a note for this game that we have to come back and play this one day. Maybe it'll be after the 1001 quest is done. And we'll do like some live streams and and because uh, this game I'm imagining could take dozens and dozens of hours, but I'm like really intrigued by the plot. The gameplay is solid. It has very interesting and unique things going on. Um, I like the combat mechanics. I like the world. Literally, I know we haven't gotten very far in this game at all, but it is one of the few games I can think of that actually sort of has intrigued me in a long time. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This game definitely is not going to be for everyone, so I wouldn't say just because I'm enjoying it that I think everyone's going to love it. But I will say, like, if you like, um, you know, action RPGs, if you like sort of mysteries and, and stories and stuff, this game seems to have a pretty solid one. So uh, yeah, I have to say from what I have seen so far, I like it. I want to come back. Um, and those are my thoughts on it. Guys, what do you think of Fable 2 here? Is it an amazing, intriguing, thoughtful game beyond its years, or is it not? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you have played this game, let me know how good it gets and what the most interesting things are. Though, perhaps no spoilers, because as I say, I, I would like to come... I'm going to just try flirting with you. Press left trigger to gain their attention, then use... I'm going to dance for him. The blacksmith. You're a dancing loon. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a thumbs up. I'm gonna lead him on. I'm gonna show him some muscles. Blow a whistle at him. Villager, this villager is attracting you. You can use flirty, fun social expressions to make them like you. Maybe even marry you. What? Oh, that's crazy. This game has it all, man. This game has it all. You can even hook up like in The Sims, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it goes that far, but you can at least marry somebody. Um, I like how after one interaction, this guy's like almost in love with me. Um, yeah, I kind of curious now about what would happen if I was a dick to him. But anyway, guys, yeah, if you've played, uh, if you've played this game before, let me know how good it gets, how interesting it is. What are some fun things you can do in it? 
Um, but again, maybe try to lean away from uh, spoilers for the story because I am curious and I am serious about like, like I have a handful of games that I really have to, I really do want to play all the way through at some point. Um, I think, what was that Super Nintendo Earthbound? Super Nintendo RPG Earthbound. I really actually do want to play that one in full and pay closer attention to its story at some point because I've heard how crazy it gets and I really do want to experience that. But I think Fable 2 has also entered my coveted one day want to replay list, <laughs> as vague as that is and non committal as that sounds. Anyway, guys, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, give it a warm thumbs up. Flirt with my character so that she falls in love with you and then you can all marry me. <laughs> as weird as that is, guys, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just signing off. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.